Ayash Shalom. This the brother not by Ayash with the GMS North Carolina camp. Come with another episode to get your mind right. Uh, first of all, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and the Son. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah Brakata. Double honor to the elders of GMS that taught me this truth. And much love, peace, and blessing to your late brothers out there that's pushing this truth, this truth across the four corners of the globe. All right, today we're going to be dealing with uh, Ezekiel chapter 5, starting at verse 14. And it says, Moreover, I will make thee waste. Talking to who? Talking to the house of Israel. And it says, And a reproach among the nations that are, are, that are round about thee. You see what I'm saying? He said he's going to make us waste and a reproach among the nations that are round about thee. That's why a lot of times when we out there on the highways and byways, or even in our just everyday life, you have white folks, uh, Arabs, Chinese, African, Japanese looking at you funny. You know what I'm saying? Talking about you behind your back. That's part of the curses. Why? Because we disobey the Heavenly Father's law, statute, and commandments. You see what I'm saying? We broke the laws of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And it says, in the sight of all that pass by. That's right, just like when we out there on the highways and byways, everybody that passed by us, what they do, they make mockery of the men that's out there on the highways and byways teaching this truth. Why? Because that's part of the curses. And it says, so it shall be a reproach and a taunt. That's right, when we say we the real Jews, they mock us. Y'all not the real Jews. Y'all just some dumbass niggas. Or oh, y'all need to go get a job. Y'all broke. You're unemployed. You're dumb. You're unlearned. You see what I'm saying? The, but who done this to us? The Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, for what? For breaking His law, statutes, and commandments. This is part of the judgment. You see what I'm saying? This is part of our punishment. That's why these things are happening to us like this. And it said, uh, So it shall be a reproach and a taunt, and instruction and astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee. Why is it going to be instruction and astonishment unto the other nations? Because we are the Lord's chosen people. So if we, if we have to be the Lord's chosen people, then the other nations take heed and look at us like, wow, if these are the chosen children of the Lord, and he's doing them like this, well, guess what? He'll do us the same way, and we're not his chosen people. You know what I'm saying? So how the Lord feel about us if we're not his chosen children? You see what I'm saying? That's why it's an instruction and an astonishment because if we get punished for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments, which the laws are only given to the children of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, well, where does that leave the heathen? When they break the law, statutes, and commandments, even though the, the, the covenant was not given to them or the law, statutes, and commandments, but they take it upon themselves to try and put themselves in our shoes. So they're going to get punished too. That's why it's an instruction for them. And it says uh, that I'm round about thee when I shall execute judgments in thee in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes. Just like terrible car crashes. You know what I'm saying? Somebody walking up, blowing your face off. Uh, a baby getting uh, tossed a thousand miles in a, in a tornado. Or a hurricane come through and wipe out your whole town. Those are furious rebukes. Like the scripture said, what's that? In First Peter, that uh, judgment must begin in my sanctuary. What is his sanctuary? The children of Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see what I'm saying? So if judgment begins with us, what does that lead the rest of the heathens of this nation? You white people, you Arabs, you Africans. You Chinese, you Japanese, you East Indians, you Hawaiians, what does that leave y'all? That means the Lord is gonna punish y'all too. Why? Because y'all had y'all had us in, in captivity. Y'all broke the law, said the commandments of the Heavenly Father. So guess what? He's gonna punish y'all too. And it says, I the Lord have spoken it. That's right. Yahweh by Shem Shah said this. So if he said it, that means what? He's gonna do it. Like the scripture, the scripture said, Yahweh by Shem is not a man that he should lie or repent. You see what I'm saying? Uh, matter of fact, let me get this other scripture. 
Isaiah spirit right here. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So if the Lord say, he gonna punish us in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes. Well, guess what? It's gonna happen. It just said right here, Isaiah 55, 11, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Meaning if I say I'm gonna do it, it's gonna do it. You see what I'm saying? Say, so, hey, you people out there, man, y'all better get your mind right. Because your house by Shimia Osha is coming back sooner than you think. You see all these things are taking place, man. World War III about to pop off. Now they got uh, Ebola here in America. You know what I'm saying? Down in Atlanta, Georgia. You see what I'm saying? Riots are taking place in different parts of America that they're not showing on the news. Earthquakes happening in diverse places. What it means is it's talking about in strange areas in, in America and all over the world, especially like Yellowstone National Park. That's a volcano that's about to erupt, man. You see what I'm saying? So the signs of the times are here, man. It's just up to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to take heed. But we already know through the prophecy of the scriptures, two-thirds ain't gonna take heed. They gonna die. You see what I'm saying? So hey, there's nothing we can do about it. You know? Let's see. It made me think of something else. Uh oh yeah. Ezekiel chapter, what is this? Five. Yeah, Ezekiel 5 and 12. It says, A third part of thee shall die with the pestilence and with famine. See, the pestilence is that Ebola virus and these other diseases they got out here in the world. You see what I'm saying? And it says, well, And with famine. That means lack of food. And that's coming. Because they steady playing with the gas prices, man. After a while, when that gas reached like five, six dollars to ten dollars, it's over. Ain't no trucks gonna be coming here to bring no food to these grocery stores no more. These stores are gonna shut down. And when the grocery stores shut down, what that mean? That's, that, that means it's gonna be civil unrest when folks can't go to the grocery store and get no food. You see what I'm saying? And it says, uh, and with famine they shall be consumed in the midst of thee, and a third part shall fall by the sword round about thee. What is that sword? Starting off with the white man, this martial law. You see what I'm saying? That's the sword. Also, two weapons that he has. The M-Raps, machine guns, laser gun, the microwave gun, the the uh, the, the droid, superhuman human robots they got. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's part of this war too. And it's gonna kill two thirds of Israel, along with you heathen nation. But the main target is Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it says, uh, and I will scatter a third part, and I will scatter a third part into all the winds. That means it's to all nations. That's, that's when we got scattered because why? We disobeyed the law, statute, commandments of the Heavenly Father. And it says, and I will draw out a sword after them. And we'll just sword. The number one sword is who? These Edomites, these so called white people, man. They came in the form of the Greeks. You know what I'm saying? They came in the form of uh, the uh, the Germans. They came in the form of, I mean, the Greeks, the Romans, the Germans. You know what I'm saying? Now they're here today as what? They, then they came in the form of the pilgrims. Now they're here as, as today as what? As, as Americans. Europeans and Americans. So they still the Lord's war. Why that? Because ultimately, their main goal is what? To wipe us out as a nation. You see what I'm saying? Their goal is to, to totally eradicate the nation of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Why? To get back their birthright, their blessing. But it was already said through the Spirit that you was going to sell your birthright for some raw meat anyway. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, you people out there, get your mind right, man. We about to go home, man. And you can see it in the air. You can feel it in the air, man. We about to go home real soon. Are you brothers that's not taking this Day of Atonement real serious? You see what I'm saying? This is the latter half of the Day of Atonement today. If you're not taking it serious, man, the Lord gonna destroy you too, man.
you know, even if you're sick in the body, try to do it the best you can, you know, and may you how you may you how about Shimmy I was shy, uh, honor your your effort to try and keep this day of atonement, man. Even though your body may be plagued with diseases and stuff, you may have to take medicine for it. May the Lord still bless you because you're trying to keep this day of atonement, man, to the best of your ability. And with that, all praises to you, how about Shimmy I was shy. Double honor to the elders of GMS. And much love, peace, and blessing to your late brothers out there that's pushing this truth. Lord willing, I'm one of them brothers, man. With that, hey, Kwame Asha Allah, Shalom.